Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another wig from wowafrican.com and this wig is beautiful you guys. I absolutely love the curl pattern on this unit and she is a bob unit. I'll have all the details down below in the description box but look at this hairline you guys. So this unit comes bleached, it comes pre-plucked and the shape of this hairline is absolutely amazing uh so yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys what the unit looks like i haven't done anything to it this is what it looks like fresh out of the box and it's just a regular lace front don't forget to check down below in the description box for any details that you guys may need and then we're gonna jump right into this and i'm just gonna start cutting off the lace from the hairline so I'm just following the shape of the hairline and cutting the lace as close to the hairline as I possibly can and then I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips to keep your wig glueless and to keep it from sliding back because that is one of the main concerns also the ear tabs too so this is going to cover all of that so I came across this lace wig grip and this is amazing you guys so about maybe three three and a half years ago I did a video on the original wig grip but of course you know with the parting area um, it creates a little bit disc of discoloration but with this one because it has a lace piece right in the middle wherever you want to put your part you would just shift it if you wanted a side part or put it in the middle like I have it if you want a middle part and this will keep your unit from sliding back so it's like a velvet material and you want the little hairs to be able to brush back that's what's going to lock the wig in place and keep it from sliding back so I just went ahead and put the uh, lace wig grip on and then I put the unit back on top and I'm just checking right now to make sure it's covered in case I need to slide it back or anything and then this is the next part that's going to keep your wig in place I'm just going to go ahead and part out a few baby hairs and this unit was really plucked good but I am going to pluck it just a little bit more to get it to my liking if you guys had the original wig grip that I did the video on uh, however many years ago that was, um, then you guys know that the parting area, you would be able to see it because it didn't have the lace part. So wherever your part was, you would kind of be able to see like a little bit of discoloration. It'd be like a division or like a separator in between your part between, I guess, either your forehead and your real hair um, and the wig grip or the wig grip and whatever stocking cap you had underneath it. But if you can tell right here, because it has that lace parting in it now, you can't see anything in the part. It just like, looks like a smooth transition. So after I plucked it enough, then I'm gonna go ahead and take some scissors or you can use a razor blade or the eyebrow blade or anything like that and go ahead and cut out the hairs that I had sectioned out. These are gonna be like my baby hairs. And I'm gonna take this Argan Oil Mousse uh, by Cream of Nature. And first I'm going to use this to like style my baby hairs and kind of see how I want them. Cause I don't wanna go straight in with the got to be glue because that's what we're gonna be using as kind of like an anchor to keep the wig from sliding even more. So I'm just right now, I'm just going in with the foam just to kind of create the shape of what I want my baby hairs to look like Once I have the outline in place, I can go ahead and go in with my gel and I'm gonna be using the clear got to be glue, the one that comes in the black tube. And I honestly wanna find another gel to do this because if you guys, um, when you get to the end and you guys see the baby hairs, the got to be glue, no matter which one, if it's this one or the one in the yellow tube, it tends to dry a bit shiny and I kind of hate shiny like edges and shiny baby hair like that when it has like that that weird glossy look to it and this kind of does that but it holds it in place and it works for now so hopefully I'll be able to find another gel to be able to do this that still has the same amount of hold as this does because this definitely has the hold and keeps it in place um, and then I'm just gonna go in with my foundation powder and just go over the lace part that's supposed to be like the scalp the part that's plucked and get it to blend in a little bit more with my skin tone and what my real scalp would look like just how we want it.
So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the hair and a little bit of the Cream of Nature mousse. I use the same one um, just to add a little bit of definition to the hair and to get the curls a little bit juicy. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie the unit down for a couple of minutes just to make sure the got to be glue is nice and set and in place. And that is it for this video, you guys. That's literally all you have to do to get your unit to like stay in place. And it's like a quick just on the go type of thing, especially if you like taking your units off at night like I do then this works perfectly fine because all you need to do is wet the baby hairs with a little bit of water and they will lift right up and you guys will be good to go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video anything that I'm using will be down below linked in the description box I love you guys and I will see you in my next one